Welcome to Hyperspace Prospector. I will be reacting to Star Wars Resistance Season 1, Episode 4. This is a commentary. It is not a market substitute. Please support the original and no spoilers in the comments. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Tons of fun, Kaz. <laughs> but I've got a race to watch. I like how they did a shorter version, less intense, of the hyperdrive engine not working from Empire Strikes Back. You know, the wah, 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 wah. Watch this. Watch what? Well, this has been tons of fun, Kaz. This is not going to end well. Oh, you never said I can't work on the engine outside. <gasps> Kaz! Kaz! The engine! Oh no! Oh dear. At least they were equipped for it. I'm not a mechanic. Yeah, and if you're not careful, everyone else will know that too. This isn't a game. Mm -hmm. I know that, Yeager. Do you? I'm completely on Yeager's side with this. Here is a manual on how to fix ships. I don't want to hear the word spy for the next 24 hours. Like the first time I said hello, Kaz, I immediately regretted it. <laughs> Maybe living with Yeager isn't my best <laughs> option. Chase Ruckland. I'm a racer too. Well... He looks like Commander Straker. Would appear they are driven by circumstance across a billion miles of space. Yeager is a strange one. He could be the top racer here if he wanted to be. Only saw him race once, but he blew the competition away. Yeah. Really? It's because he uses fuel boost. <gasps> Did he ever show you his racer? No, no. They want inside information. You with us, Kaz? Don't trust them. Why not? Kaz. They're clearly manipulating you. Oh, this looks fun. Oh, of course he gave you the bad bike. Something's wrong with my bike. I don't trust him. Nah, the bike's not important. I'm just glad you're okay. Now we've got the kid right where we want. Ah, I knew it. See, this is why I'm suspicious. Oh, now you're on my case too, Bucket. Really? <laughs> you know what? Forget this. Having all kinds of fun. They're the worst. Yeah, yeah, that sounds terrible. Uh, hey, Nico, could you, uh, Nico. could you grab me a tool from that big case? Oh, wow. Whoa. Let's look at this poster. Moves. Ride for the fun of it, I think. Cute. Man, I would love to check out that ship. See it up close. Don't let them. What do you say, Kaz? You want to sneak me a peek? No. <laughs> Listen to BB. What harm is there in that? Cats. You're so sweet and just trusting. Oh, there's his trophies from back when he raced. He was in the rebellion too. Wow. That explains a lot. No Yeager is at the Battle of Jakku. He probably lost them. That's why I, I he's kind of bad about sneaking in here. You have to put the picture back where you found it, otherwise he'll know someone was in here. He's like, this is not where I left it. Oh no, is that the fuel that he was talking about? Ooh, that was close. <laughs> okay. Highly unstable. It causes terminal blowouts. He said there's a race starting soon. If anyone tries to use it without knowing how, more than a couple of drops could turn a ship into a giant bomb. Bucket. <laughs> Careful. Not too That's much more than a few drops. This is my ticket to the big time. Commander Straker. Oh no. There's that same droid that he accidentally sat on. What are you doing? Saving a friend who isn't really a friend. Stop! 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 Get off my ship! Well, 
On the bright side, you're now even. Is that BB? Yeah. This is not an ideal situation. Oh. Oh. Thanks, BB-8. It all would have been fine if you didn't interfere. Just wait. This isn't over, Kaz. So I'm good at being a person. Yeah. Now get better mm -hmm. at being a mechanic. You can start by cleaning those engine parts. Oh no, not again, not again! Yes! No! Oh no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no. That was a really fun one. I like that he's taking a little bit of time to really fit in. And he's just such a good kid, like Yeager said, that unfortunately he's easy to take advantage of. To the more street savvy teens, I feel like we're going to see that group again. I don't know why they're not able to see that they made this silly plan. They used too much fuel. All Cass did was save his life. But it's so easy not to take responsibility for things you've done. It's much easier to pick a scapegoat, unfortunately. And that's what we saw here. But the good thing is, the adults in the room, as it were, like Yeager, are able to see past all of that, and they know what really happened. Kaz would be completely lost without BB, though. I'm just going to say that now. <laughs> Throughout this episode, if he had just listened to what BB-8 had to say, none of this would have happened. I am curious to learn more about the backstory, though, and the family that Yeager used to have that he lost, and how that happened, exactly. That kind of turned him into the person we see today. I think her name was Lynn, but the other teen in this episode who showed up, she really had a we can do it vibe, like the poster from World War II. Is it just me? Does she look like Rosie the Riveter? So far, it's a very entertaining show. I'm just constantly worried about Cass because he's so naive. 